beautiful people and welcome to your weekly angel reading for July 16th through to the 22nd. I'm Anna Grace Taylor and I'm going to be using the magical messages from the fairies cards because I thought we could do with a bit of magic this week and lightness especially after that heavy intense new moon that we had last week. So let's see what they have to say first of all for Monday and Tuesday. All right, this is a beautiful card. It's actually one that's popped up before when we've used the, this deck. It's love life. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. What a beautiful card. If you remember, last Monday and Tuesday's card was also about new energy in our love lives, in our emotional life in some way. So this is obviously a repeating message, perhaps because it's a great reminder for us to begin our week remembering to open our hearts and love our lives. Remember, this does not have to be about romance. Yes, this message here says about romance, but to me, whenever I look at this card, I also think of love life, loving life. What can we do to love our lives more this week, especially at the beginning of the week? Perhaps we can focus on what we are grateful for. Gratitude is an instant way to lift our energy up, to shift our perspective and help us to open our hearts, not only for romance, but generally in our lives with our work, with our friends and of course within ourselves, which is where it all starts. So you can ask the fairies to help you not only with your romantic love life, but also to help you to love your life and to make the necessary changes that you need for that to be felt more by you. Okay, so that's a beautiful, beautiful card. All right, and this card, really interesting and specific here, is holiday. The answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or holiday getaway. Now, that's pretty specific, isn't it? So what the fairies are saying here is that so often, particularly because it's going to come up in the middle of the week, that we're like, oh, you know, I don't have time to take a break. I don't have enough money. Um, you know, I don't deserve it. Perhaps I've got too much to do. There are too many important things, blah, blah, blah. This is even more of a reason to take a break. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You might really want to plan a beautiful vacation for you and your your family. You might want to spend a couple of hours in one of your favourite places. You don't have to make a huge deal out of it. But to me, this is the fairy's way of saying it's okay to take a break. And actually, it's beautiful because sometimes if we're feeling tired, drained, stuck, uninspired, is actually the best time for us to step back, get out of our environment, out of our own four walls, go somewhere different. And actually, especially when we're outside and, and in a different environment, we can often feel the answer that we've been looking for come to us. Because just because we're in a more relaxed space, we are getting out of our way. And we're also, especially in nature, often more easily able to hear and feel what the angels are sharing with us. So if you can allow yourself either to take a little bit of a break midweek or say yes to that holiday that you've been planning for yourself, then you're going to feel like the rest of not only your week's plans, but just in general, you're going to have um, things to look forward to, you're going to feel excited, you're going to feel like what it is that you're working on is also helping you to have this holiday. So remember to balance this work and play thing we have in life. You know, life is not supposed to be all about work or stress. It's supposed to be enjoyed. And the fairies are beautiful beings that remind us to play and let our hair down a little bit. So I hope you will allow yourself to do that either in the middle of the week just by deciding that you're going to take a break very soon or even just having a little bit of a playful day on Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, that's a beautiful card. 
So it's interesting because going into the end of the week is more businessy. But like we said, if you can actually allow yourself to either plan a break away this week, so you know, for the next few weeks or months, if you do that, sometimes what happens is, is that because we get in that relaxed or excited or grateful mode, even if it is for a day or a couple of days away, we can also feel more inspired and energized with the rest of the things that we um, you know, are working on. And so the fairies say, trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. And that energy was also present last week. So again, they're saying, let the energy move in new directions with career. Let yourself be um, confident in your ability to say yes to not only your own ideas, but things that are being offered to you. And again, the fairies are helping you to be open to abundance in all ways, not just in um, the form of money, but in the form of support, in being involved in perhaps in a team that's going to be supportive for you. Or maybe you've just got a really um, new, fresh idea that you haven't thought about before, either as an entrepreneur or someone who uh, loves to work as part of a team. So that is quite specific too. You may not feel like, well, how 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 is that relevant to me if I don't have a business or I'm not even working? Well, they're saying there's new energy around us being supported in our work life. So again, if you've been thinking of making a change or if you're thinking about going back into work after, you know, some time with the family, maybe you had a baby and we were wanting to um, go back into your work life, perhaps you've always dreamed of being an entrepreneur or having your own business, this looks like a great time to investigate that and to ask the fairies to help you with that opportunity. Okay, so sending you lots and lots of love. If you would like an angel reading specifically about your love life, um, your business or anything that's going on, but particularly with the energy this week, those are the two areas that feel um, particularly appropriate. But as we said, loving life can take all different forms. So if you feel like you need a bit of an angelic injection into your life to help you to boost your own heart, to uplift your mind, to give you guidance and clarity about your next steps, then I would be really happy to do that for you. You can contact me at annagracetaylor.com. We can either work for 30 minutes or an hour, but all the information is on my website, or you can send me a message on my Facebook page. Sending you much, much love, and I will speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.